I still love you. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm busy opening up the Grammys. And we're never getting back together. I like writing songs about douchebags who cheat on me, but I'm not gonna say that in my monologue. When it comes to romance, Taylor Swift is no stranger to the spotlight. Although she gets a lot of criticism for dating celebrities and then writing songs about them. But without Taylor's openness and honesty about her romantic life, we wouldn't have listened to some of her best lyrical work. She's currently dating Kansas City Chiefs footballer Travis Kelsey, who recently led his team to victory at the Super Bowl on February 11th. We can't wait to see how this unfolds and if she's finally going to get her happy ending. In the meantime, grab your popcorn, folks, because today, we're about to take a thrilling ride through Taylor Swift's boyfriend list and then find out how many boyfriends she has ever dated. Joe and Taylor barely dated, yet their breakup was somehow the most dramatic thing ever. Probably because he ended things over the phone, which Taylor confirmed during a November 2008 appearance on The Ellen Show. And when I look at that person, I'm not even going to be able to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds when I was 18. <laughs> Taylor later released a Joe-inspired song called Forever and Always, which includes the pretty pointed lyrics. Was I out of line? Did I say something way too honest? Made you run and hide like a scared little boy. And while Taylor has since apologized for putting Joe on blast, just a fun reminder that in 2009, she mentioned their breakup in her Saturday Night Live opening monologue. You might think I'd bring up Joe, that guy who broke up with me on the phone, but I'm not gonna mention him. In my monologue, hey Joe, I'm doing real well. Okay, so Lucas played the guy in Taylor's You Belong With Me video, and apparently they dated for a minute. At least, according to Lucas, who told MTV. Team Taylor was an item while filming Valentine's Day, where they shared several iconic scenes together. The singer allegedly wrote Speak Now's Back to December about him. Fast forward to 2024, Taylor Square are on good terms. Taylor Lautner married another Taylor, and later he appeared in Taylor Swift's music video I Can See You. Taylor and John Mayer dated for just a few months, and their breakup was a massive mess, thanks to John's terrible reaction to Taylor writing Dear John about him. Us Weekly broke the news of these two dating in a December 2010 cover story, blessing the universe with these photos. Fast forward to January, and the magazine reported that Jake broke up with Taylor completely randomly. It was a 180-degree turn and so out of the blue, a source said at the time. Jake just told her it wasn't working out. Taylor is really upset and hurt. She doesn't know what she did for him to put a stop to it. She feels really burned by him. A bunch of songs on Red were allegedly inspired by Jake and he was completely cool with them. Us Weekly again broke the news of Connor and Taylor's relationship after they were photographed together in Hyannisport, Massachusetts, and an onlooker revealed that Connor put his arm around Taylor and they kissed behind the boat shed. The good news is the split was totally amicable and down to the distance between them, but I'm personally still bummed that Taylor didn't become a casual Kennedy. First of all, how much coffee have you had? Because the Harry Styles section of this timeline is best described as exhausting despite spanning just three months. Rumors about the couple started flying around after Tay was spotted wearing Harry's silver airplane necklace, which she also wore in the video for her track Out of the Woods. Ooh, your neck is hanging from my neck, the night we couldn't quite forget. In December, these two went public when they were photographed strolling around the Central Park Zoo, but after just a few months of dating and one vacation where Taylor was seen sitting alone on a boat, they both broke up. 
things were pretty awkward henceforth, especially when Taylor dissed Harry during her 2013 Grammys performance by using an English accent. So he calls me up and he's like, I still love you. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm busy opening up the Grammys. And we're never getting back together. Taylor and Calvin met at the L Style Awards in February, and good news is, there is photo evidence. A month later, they were spotted in matching outfits at a Whole Foods in Nashville. They both then went public at the 2015 Billboard Music Awards in May, and even kissed for the cameras. The pair even celebrated their one-year anniversary on March 6, 2017. But then two months later, people reported that Calvin broke things off. The breakup was deeply messy, with Calvin Loki accusing Taylor of cheating in some song lyrics. Remember when Taylor was dating the poor lost soul known as Tom Hiddleston? No? Well, here's a reminder. This unlikely relationship started at the Met Gala, where Taylor and Tom were seen dancing the night away. Things went full steam ahead after the photos went viral. Tom met Taylor's parents in Nashville, they were seen dancing at a Selena Gomez concert, and Tom was spotted wearing an I Heart TS tank top while frolicking in the ocean with Taylor and a bunch of supermodels. At last, things went south for the couple in September 2016, with sources saying Taylor was worried Tom wasn't with her for the right reasons. Her relationship with the actor was perhaps the one she kept the most private, with very little PDA and no Instagram or red carpet official moments. It's also not known when they started dating, but the pair were both at the 2016 Met Gala and were also at a Kings of Leon concert in New York City that October. On April 8, 2023, ET confirmed that after several years of dating the two had called it quits. Maddie Healy was first linked to Swift when he was spotted at the Nashville stop of her Eras tour in May 2023, one month after news of her breakup from Alwyn first broke. The duo, who have been longtime friends, was later photographed together as well. They dated briefly in the past. By June, though, the romance had ended. Ah, yes, now we're in our current Taylor Swift's dating era, and she's happier than ever with her one and only Kansas City Chief Travis Kelsey.